going to learn how to install a drillless solar panel mount system. Now I've installed these over 50 times on my previous solar power system and so I've learned a thing or two about properly installing them and I see people using the wrong mounting hardware, the wrong adhesives. So I'm going to go over a couple options on how you can do it properly so that this thing will not fly off the roof of your vehicle. If one of these flies off the roof of your vehicle, it could potentially kill somebody so you have to be very careful. Before we mount anything, we need to make sure that all of these surfaces on the inside corner and the solar panel are dry and free from oils because we're going to be using VHB tape to hold this corner mount and then we're going to use stainless steel hardware self-tapping screw on the side here. So make sure that everything is clean and figure out if these actually fit. You want to also want to check the rails and make sure there's a lot of surface area between the two mating surfaces. Surfaces are prepared. I want to use these double sided VHB mounting strips and these are rated for 30 pounds per square inch and these don't really hold it down. It does hold it down but it's holding it down enough so I can screw a screw through the sides here. So first VHB tape right here and right here just like that and then you peel the layer off until it looks like that and now we need to mount it and you need to be very careful you want to put it in the corner and then slide it on so that all of the VHB tape is touching and make sure that everything is touching in there you want to make sure that both mating surfaces are flat all right so this is the screw that I'm going to use to put in here I like to drill pilot holes because there's not a lot of space for the little bit to push this stuff out and it's not going to make it all the way through this is only a 3 4 inch screw so what I'm going to do is put a pilot hole right here and once that pilot hole is done we can use a little adapter on an impact gun or drill and then put this self tapping stainless steel that and it is not going anywhere and then repeat the same process on this side if you do not like the self tapping screw method you can also use a bolt that's stainless steel repeat the same procedure for all four corners and I just did this in about 10 minutes so it's not that bad I have both solar panels that I'm installing today with bolts and everything's mounted properly but I must say when you guys are doing these little bolts right here you have to drill the proper size pilot hole unless self tapping screws with this setup it will not work Work that well so you have to drill the right size hole but yeah that was really easy if you have the right tools and so now I just have to put these on the roof and I'm gonna hoist them up with a rope and then we're gonna see you guys on the roof these are the tools I'm gonna take with me on the roof to attach all of this stuff first we have denatured alcohol and a towel to clean it and rubber gloves so we don't touch it we're gonna have a multimeter extension lines for the solar panels when I hook everything up various pliers wire strippers crimper um, electrical tape, extra other tape, we got a turnabond tape, we have this because I'm going to use a constructive adhesive today, I'm not using this on a roof, but uh, yeah, various things, and soldering iron if I have to do big joints. Prepare the surface of the roof, what I use is a little kneel pad, a towel, and some denatured alcohol, I pour it on the spots where the glue or adhesive is going to make contact. And once it's completely dry and clean, then we can add the solar panels. Solar panels in the front of the RV's roof, where there's a lot of wind, I like to put VHB tape. But for some of these ones, where it's not as critical, what I use is contact adhesive. You can use SikaFlex, but I like PL Max Premium. It is insanely strong, but it takes 24 hours for it to cure. But this will make it so it's not coming up for years. And this is what it should look like. Just put some glue on there. If you're not using contact adhesive, use VHB tape strips and use as much as possible because you want as much surface area and these lack it. See how there's a hole in the middle? So you want to put as much as possible around that part. Now that the surface is clean, we can put the solar panel on the roof. Okay, it's clean. We have the contact adhesive. Now we can slowly lay it where we want it to be. And make sure all corners are pressed into the roof. Give it a second and make sure the wires are out of the way. It's horrible if you forget the wires underneath there and they're still taped down and then you have to pull it up again. So make sure the wires are out of the way. 
final step that I like to do with most of these is that I put a piece of a turnip on tape on the leading edge. You can do it on all four corners depending on how your roof is structured with these solar panel mounts. Finished product, I have one piece on the leading edge. Like I said a second ago, you can put it on all four corners and go crazy with it. But for me, I just like one piece in the front knowing that the wind will not lift it up. And that's the front of the RV, so this is the leading edge. 